Marcus' presidency is comparable to the rule of Adolf Hitler by way of its architectural, political, and military achievements. One of Ferdinand Marcus' less exposed achievements was his rapid program in the 1970s. However, this particular program was somehow considered as an urban legend because it lacks the solid evidence that it exists even up until this time where access to information is almost infinite, yet we only have a few information about this project. Marcus' rocket program was started by Alejandro Malfoy Jr., who served as Marcus' executive secretary from 1970s to 1974. Malfoy graduated in the U.S. Navy Academy in Annapolis, said that he realized that the liquid fuel being locally developed to power windmills could also be used to power rockets. So, he formed a team to develop one within a month. It was reported that it only took them 21 days to complete and produce the first prototype of the Boom Boom rocket, named after the second child and first son of President Marcos. Boom Boom was a liquid propellant rocket developed under the project Santa Barbara. The improved prototype of the project was first successfully launched on March 12, 1972 in Caballo Island near Corregidor, and the rocket was successfully retrieved from the South China Sea. The launch was witnessed by the president himself and with other government officials. After its first launch, the Santa Barbara program was continued that on December of 1972, 37 more additional tests were made to test the different configuration. During the 1973 Independence Day parade in the Luneta Park, Marcus showed the rockets, and this is the only video available today where a rocket consists of a six tube launcher mounted on a pin roll truck. Unfortunately, the project was stopped after the Edge Revolution and decommissioned by former President Korea Kino.